Hi, welcome to the podcast for When the Curves Line Up for July 16, 2024, featuring the moon with the scorpion. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website at whenthecurveslineup.com. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago, sunrise occurs at 5.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time followed by sunset at 8.23 p.m. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky. A pretty celestial display occurs in the eastern morning sky with Jupiter, Mars, and Taurus. An hour before sunrise, bright Jupiter is over 20 degrees up in the east, 4.9 degrees to Aldebaran's upper left. The Jovian giant is the brightest celestial body in the sky this morning. Use a binocular to see Jupiter with Aldebaran and the Hyades star cluster, outlining Taurus head. Marching eastward in front of Taurus near the Pleiades star cluster, Mars is 14.5 degrees to Jupiter's upper right and 30 degrees above the eastern horizon. Yesterday, the red planet passed Uranus. This morning it is 0.7 degrees below the more distant planet. Mars, Uranus, and the Pleiades fit into the same binocular field, although the planets and the cluster are at nearly opposite sides of the view. Mars passes Alcyone, the brightest Pleiad, on the 21st. Its eastward march carries toward a conjunction with Jupiter on August 14. Saturn is farther westward, less than halfway up in the southern sky. It is in front of a dim Aquarius starfield, 24 degrees to the upper left of Fomalot, the mouth of the southern fish. Saturn is retrograding compared to the starfield. This is an illusion as our planet overtakes this world. Follow the planet's temporary westward trek with a binocular. In the evening sky. Venus is plotting into the evening sky, setting during bright sunlight, 43 minutes after sundown. At the time Venus sets, Mercury is about 7 degrees up in the western sky. It nears its largest separation from the Sun, known as greatest elongation, but the speedy world is fading in brightness. It approaches a conjunction with Regulus, 8.9 degrees to its upper left. At this level of twilight, a binocular is needed to see them. This evening the Moon, 79% illuminated, is in front of western Scorpius, nearly 25 degrees up in the south and 3.6 degrees to the lower right of Dchubba, the scorpion's forehead or crown. While a challenge to see in this moonlight, the scorpion seems to stand above the southern horizon during the early evening. The arachnid's heart, Antares, is less than 10 degrees to the lunar orb's lower left. With a binocular, trace the shape of Scorpius. From Antares, the critter's body curves toward the southern horizon, then bends upward, ending at the stinger marked by Lisith and Jola. Saturn rises less than three hours after nightfall. As the midnight hour approaches, the planet is less than 10 degrees above the east-southeast horizon. Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.